Hello MotoGP enthusiasts, welcome back to ZNGP today. Lynn Jarvis, the former head of Yamaha, has shared his perspective on managing two top MotoGP champions, drawing from his experiences with Valentino Rossi and Jorge Lorenzo. As Ducati prepares to host Marc Marquez and Peco Bagnaia in 2025, Jarvis offers valuable advice on handling such a high-stakes dynamic. Ducati's Peco Bagnaia recently discussed his future with the team, the upcoming addition of Marc Marquez in 2025, and his current achievements with Ducati. Bagnaia, who has set a new record for Ducati with the most victories, also shared his views on the evolving dynamics within the team and his perspective on success and rivalry. Fabio Cordero has shared insights into Yamaha's strategy for the 2024 MotoGP season. Despite ongoing challenges, Cordero believes that Yamaha is making progress and narrowing the gap to its competitors, particularly Aprilia and KTM. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Lynn Jarvis, who previously navigated the complexities of having two world-class riders in the same garage at Yamaha, reflects on his experiences. At Yamaha, Jarvis managed the intense rivalry between Valentino Rossi and Jorge Lorenzo, which he describes as challenging yet ultimately rewarding. Jarvis recalls the time when Yamaha had to split its garage to accommodate both Rossi and Lorenzo, acknowledging the difficulties of balancing their needs and egos. He emphasizes that such dynamics, though tough, are crucial for achieving championship success. There are a lot of very demanding people, a lot of big egos in this championship. But you need it to become world champion. That's the reality. Quote from Lynn Jarvis. During the years 2008, 2009, and 2010, Yamaha achieved remarkable success with Rossi and Lorenzo, securing consecutive MotoGP championships. Despite the challenges of managing their rivalry, Jarvis highlights that these years were some of Yamaha's most triumphant. Jarvis explains that while it was difficult to manage the tension between the two riders, their competitive nature ultimately led to multiple championships and significant victories. He reflects on the experience as both demanding and rewarding. The most difficult time was with Vale and Jorge together, and the garage split. But in the end, it was our most winning time. We won several triple crowns. At the end of the day, I would always choose two challenging riders over two easy riders. Looking ahead to Ducati's 2025 season, Jarvis offers advice based on his experiences. He suggests that having two demanding and competitive riders can be beneficial, despite the inherent challenges. Jarvis expresses enthusiasm about witnessing the dynamics between Marquez and Bagnaia as a spectator. Jarvis acknowledges that Ducati will have a formidable pairing with Marc Marquez, an eight-time world champion, and current MotoGP title holder Peko Bagnaia. With Marquez aiming for his seventh title and Bagnaia seeking his third, the competition promises to be intense. I am very happy to see it as a spectator. It is a special situation. They have no idea what it could be like, Jarvis concluded. Jarvis's insights underline the complexity of managing top-tier talent, but also the potential for great success. As the 2025 season approaches, Ducati will benefit from having two of the sport's most competitive and skilled riders in its ranks. Lynn Jarvis's reflections on managing two top MotoGP champions provide valuable lessons for Ducati as they prepare for the 2025 season. With Marc Marquez and Peko Bagnaia set to join forces, the challenges and opportunities ahead promise to shape a thrilling chapter in MotoGP history. Stay tuned for more updates and insights as the new season unfolds. As Marc Marquez prepares to join Ducati in 2025, Peko Bagnaia reflects on how this change might impact the team. Banaya values the experience Marquez will bring but emphasizes that his primary focus remains on his own performance and maintaining a positive team atmosphere. Marc Marquez will bring his experience and will be important in the development. For me, honestly, it doesn't matter much 
I work for myself and with my team. Whoever my teammate is, I'm fine. Quote from Peko Banyaya. Banaya discussed the importance of team dynamics and how the arrival of new teammates, like Marquez, might affect the atmosphere. He is confident that despite any external speculation, the team's internal environment will remain positive. We will know that atmosphere when we start working in the box. There will always be a thousand things said, some will say just for the sake of saying it, but we will be on equal terms. Banaya told by Modisan. Banyaya, who recently surpassed Casey Stoner's record for the most Ducati victories, reflects on his achievements and the nature of success. He is unfazed by any potential criticism that comes with his success, stating, Whoever wins a lot is disliked. And if people start to dislike me for that, I don't give a damn. He acknowledges Stoner's achievements while emphasizing the competitive environment of today's Ducati team. Speaking on Ducati's progress, Banaya praised the evolution of the Ducati bikes, highlighting the significant improvements made since 2021. He expressed his regrets over not securing the 2021 title but remains optimistic about the current and future models. Ducatis today are extremely precise and perfect bikes. The biggest evolution for me was in 20 to 21. The bike was fantastic and one of my biggest regrets is not having won the 2021 title," Banyaya concluded. Peko Banyaya's insights into the future with Marc Marquez, his achievements, and the ongoing evolution of Ducati bikes reveal his commitment to excellence and his unflinching attitude towards success and rivalry. As he continues to push boundaries with Ducati, fans can look forward to more exciting developments in the MotoGP season. Stay tuned for further updates on Banyaya's journey and Ducati's progress. With Yamaha's access to technical concessions, the distinction between the current and next year's MotoGP bikes is becoming less pronounced. Corderero explained that the focus is on continuous updates for the M1 rather than planning for 2025. With the concessions, we don't really think about next year. You can make improvements every month if you have the parts because we have the freedom to change the spec of our engine. Quote from Fabio Corderero. The upcoming significant upgrade is the introduction of a second revised engine specification, which Corderero and teammate Alex Rins tested privately in Valencia. While the first new spec engine was introduced at Assen, the second version is expected to offer more substantial benefits. We tried two engines. One we have since Assen, and the other one is coming in the future. The one we tried recently is working better, so this is going to be really positive. Corderero's recent experiences with the new engine have shown improvements in agility and turning, though grip remains an issue. Despite a better race performance compared to last year, Corderero finished 11th in the German MotoGP, 7 seconds behind the top Aprilia and 2.5 seconds adrift of the leading KTM. The race was much better than we expected, but we missed a lot in the beginning with new tires. We're 20 seconds faster over the race distance than a year ago, but still 17 seconds behind Ducati's Francesco Bagnaia. Corderero also noted the changes in the team since the arrival of Max Bartolini, emphasizing ongoing testing and development efforts. While Yamaha is still lagging behind Ducati, Corderero feels they are closing the gap to Aprilia and KTM. We started the season super far compared to the European manufacturers, but I feel we are getting a bit closer. Not really to Ducati, but to Aprilia and KTM," Corderero concluded. Fabio Corderero's comments highlight Yamaha's strategic focus on short-term improvements and ongoing development. As the team continues to make progress, Corderero remains optimistic about closing the gap to other top competitors. Stay tuned for further updates as Yamaha prepares for the next phase of the MotoGP season. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.